Hello and welcome to another lesson on soundproofing. Today we're going to be talking all about soundproof windows and specifically should you buy pre-made soundproof windows or build your own. And I'm going to show you an example of a recording studio we're designing here in Nashville where we actually use both. And this will help you understand when we decide at my design firm when to build our own windows versus when we think it's best to buy some pre-made soundproof windows and give those to our clients. My name is Wilson Harwood. I am a soundproof studio designer and acoustician based in Nashville, Tennessee. I build soundproof spaces all over the world. Before we jump in, I do want to let you know that I have a free resource for you. This is my free soundproofing workshop. It's 45 minutes of in-depth teaching going over some of our own design projects in both a garage, a backyard, and a basement so you can see how to build a soundproof space in any one of those areas. If you're interested in that, you can watch it right away at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's jump into this lesson on should you build or buy your own soundproof windows. All right, so here we have um, a client design uh, here in Nashville, like I said, and we've got some different types of windows in this design. So we've got your typical control room window here. Here is the control room, and then here is the live room, and the client obviously, you know, like many studios, wants to be able to see through uh, from one room to the other. So this window right here, we decided to make a custom built from scratch window, and I'll show you how we did that. But these windows over here, we actually are purchasing from a company called Soundproof Windows Inc. And as you can see, these windows are gonna go on the inside and they're going to help improve the existing outside windows that already exist in this basement studio design. So to tell you, you know, from the beginning, I said, hey, when should you use one or the other? Um, the answer is, if you're doing a setup where you're having existing windows already in place, I almost always would recommend buying the Soundproof Windows Inc., which I'll show you in a second, windows because they actually have the ability to have a high STC rating of STC64, which is pretty much unheard of in the window side of things. And then they also can make those windows operable, meaning those windows can open. And that's something that we don't design ourselves at my firm. We don't actually design windows that can open. Uh, we just design fixed windows that never can be open. So let's take a look at this again here. If we look at soundproof windows, uh, their website here, we can see that there's a few different things that you can see. They have, uh, I'll actually go to their main homepage, so soundproofwindows.com, and if you go to professionals and then studio soundproofing, you can sort of see the higher end level of soundproof doors and windows that they do. So they can do sliding glass doors, which is cool, and then you can click here and say, learn more about their recording studio windows. And this is one of the cool things, the operable sliding sound studio windows, um, which gives you an STC of 65, which is pretty insane, um, which is actually higher than our double wall system, so totally fine. And you can put those in. You could also buy a studio sound windows where you can have um, different pane size panes of glass and then you can also have them ship you the double glass and have it angled and stuff like that so there i found them to be a great resource we've used them on a couple projects and their sales rep was really nice and easy to work with um, so i've been recommending them if you're in the u.s and maybe even canada area that's that's who i'd recommend so we put the soundproof studio windows in here. And what's cool on these plans is we can kind of just spec it so that the windows will come in. Uh, I'm going to actually slide through the glass. And then we have our insulation here, which will be covered in fabric, and then our existing windows. And what we want to do in a double wall situation, which this is not really a double wall situation, but you always want to make sure that your exterior window is not connected to your interior window and your walls are not connected either. In this case, we're just going to decouple around the window. Let me see if I can actually take off this trim and you can kind of see that we've got um, a little space here that we're going to put in around the actual window where there's not going to be any uh, drywall touching the actual frame of our window there. So I'm going to put the trim back and uh, that is how we install those windows. Now let's take a look at a custom built window. 
you know, it's hard to get a good deflection of an angled uh, window here. It's something in my designs, I'll be honest, I'm actually leaning towards not doing angled windows anymore. And the reason is that we're going to get better isolation by keeping both windows straight. And at the end of the day, I think that it's going to be a lot cheaper and easier. A lot of things I think about when I'm designing, especially for my clients in the home studio market right now, uh, you know, any way we can save money is going to be easier. And anytime we can save labor money, meaning the time it takes to install a window and angling a window is definitely going to cost a lot more money. So that's something we want to think about here. Um, so the way this window is installed here is that we are basically just going to build the window from scratch. So let me show you a little bit of how this is done so you can see. So we've got one angled pane and I like to keep them at least five degrees or more. Ideally seven is good, but you know, with a wall that is still 10 and a half inches wide, you, like I said before, you can't angle both panes and still get that, that angle that you're looking for to actually have an impact on the actual acoustics of the room, sending that sound down towards the floor instead of back to your ears. Um, so then we've got two different panes of glass. We've got usually a 3 8 inch pane of glass that's gonna be our um, laminate and then our tempered is gonna be a half an inch. And that's what I like to do on all of my soundproof window designs is, is use those thicknesses and then have the differing thicknesses as well. We're gonna use just like a standard uh, let me kind of break this window down here. Um, you can kind of see here on this side, we're gonna use a standard one by uh, hardwood, like an oak or a poplar, because we wanna be able to support the weight of this window. So it shouldn't be a soft wood like pine, um, like your typical wood that you'd find at a lumber yard. So we wanna do a little bit heavier. We're gonna have our 16th inch drywall or 16th inch rubber here that's going to go between our air gap um, you can see right here we actually have some insulation this is usually knopf ecos insulation in between our two frames and then some quarter rounds that are going to actually hold our window in place and i like to put in a little bit of um, we use this glazing tape around both sides of our windows and attach one side to the outside trim here that you can see and then the inside attaches to that quarter round and then this is just some you know thin piece of wood you can get it at home depot or any local hardware store just a thinner piece of wood it's only about um, 7 30 seconds deep and about one and a half inches wide and that's just going to hold our fabric in place over the insulation and make it so you don't see the staples from the fabric. Um, we also put a little piece of rubber. Let me see if I can show you that here. Uh, that is going to be right here um, around our window. So there's the glazing tape right there. And then there's about a quarter inch thick piece of rubber that the actual glass is going to sit on. And then we have our actual frame and then a little bit of space between the frame and the rough opening if there is one. Uh, where we stick in some putty pads just to make sure it's super airtight and then seal that with acoustic sealant all the way around. So that is a quick and dirty example of how we build our soundproof windows. And I highly recommend doing something similar. You don't have to necessarily do every little thing we do, uh, but it will certainly help you uh, with your design to follow a lot of what we're doing here in these window designs. So I hope that that was helpful to understand the differences between when we actually decide to buy a window versus when we build one ourselves. So in conclusion, I think that buying is always going to be helpful in terms of speeding up the process, but of course there is the chance that it could cost potentially more money. When you build, you also get the ability to customize it exactly how you want. So if you have non-traditional window sizes, um, it could potentially be cheaper so that you don't have to pay a company to create a custom sized window. It is probably worth checking in with the Soundproof Windows Inc. people because I do feel like their rates have been fairly competitive and even rival some of the rates that I might get for building windows from scratch. So definitely reach out to them and give them a call if you guys are on that journey. And uh, ultimately, I just hope that this video helped you make that decision with a little bit more of an understanding and logic behind how we do it at our own design firm here at Soundproof Your Studio. Again, if you're on that journey of trying to design your own soundproof recording studio or even a soundproof space, it doesn't have to be music, I definitely can help you. Uh, I like to help people that are a little bit beyond the DIY phase that want to 
kind of be more hands off or maybe you're just in that point where you're like overwhelmed. I usually talk to people like that. If that's you, sign up for a free soundproof clarity call on my website at soundproofyourstudio.com. And if you're still in that DIY stage, definitely check out the free soundproofing workshop. It is super helpful. It's going to go in depth into those three studio designs I talked about, the backyard, the garage, and the basement studio. All right, again, I'm Wilson Harwood. I'll see you all next week with more information on soundproofing and room acoustics. Thanks for watching. Thank you.